Exciting sight. Trucks driving through neighborhoods spraying large amounts of insecticide with residents being told to stay inside. It's all to combat the outbreak of the mosquito-borne West Nile virus, which has even struck the nation's most famous doctor, Anthony Fauci. But what's it like to have West Nile? Les Trent spoke with some people who know firsthand. It started as a little mosquito bite, and it turned into a months-long medical nightmare for this woman. The 30-year-old got bitten by the mosquito while leading a Girl Scout hike last summer. It started a day or two after we got back. I got those palsy um, reactions, uh, those stroke-like um, symptoms. Whitney Yeager came down with a severe case of West Nile virus that affected her central nervous system. A year later, she's still taking 30 pills a day. My speech was gone. My um, processing, I, I couldn't think straight. 67-year-old John Brittingham from Santa Fe, New Mexico, was placed on a ventilator. I was in ICU for three weeks. I don't want to remember it. There are 2,500 cases of West Nile virus every year. And that includes Dr. Anthony Fauci, who just spent six days in the hospital after contracting the illness from a mosquito in his backyard. Patients usually experience mild symptoms like fever, headache, and vomiting, which resolve on their own. For patients like Brittany, though, the virus can have more drastic health implications. There's no cure. Officials here in New York City are doing everything they can to control the mosquito population, spraying pesticide throughout the city, to help curb the spread of the disease, including right here in Central Park. A white pickup truck is seen spraying pesticide in one neighborhood in Brooklyn as residents are warned over a loudspeaker to stay indoors. The city is applying pesticide to reduce the threat of the West Nile virus. To minimize exposure to the pesticide, please go indoors immediately until the trucks have passed. So how can you protect yourself? Experts say cover exposed skin use bug spray, and remove stagnant water where mosquitoes can breathe. These two patients have a message to America. Take West Nile seriously. I still can hardly believe it, that one mosquito bite could do this kind of damage. Well, one problem is that global warming has extended mosquito season, leading to more spread of the disease. There's